Hey guys, Craig here. We're at Red Bull Dancehall Star in Pretoria, and with me I've got Mpumalelo Maku, who is a Red Bull photographer as well as a commercial car photographer based out of Johannesburg. And today we'll be doing a bag rundown and what he carries on an everyday basis to all the shoots that he goes to. What's up, CK? <laughs> Good on you. Are you ready cool, to show me what's in your bag? Yeah, I'm very excited about it. I mean, um, this, is a, this is my trusted bag. This is all I carry uh, on all of my shoots. And I've got... Firstly, this is the F-Stop Ajna 40 litre. Yes. Uh, the bag has been upgraded or updated to a Dura Diamond 37 litre, but this is a slightly bigger bag. And this thing is pretty loaded, eh? Yeah. I mean, I like the fact that like with this one, it's like pretty modular and you can like, you know, take the ICUs out and interchange them and that kind of stuff. You know? Yeah. Like it makes it so much easier for, you know, uh, packing for different shoots and stuff. So, you know, so I can break down my gear and you know, bring the full kit for like a job like this, you know, like a uh, uh, Red Bull Dancer style. I think or, let's start on the outside. So, oh, should be. Yeah, um, it's, um, so on the outside, I've got, um, I've got a light stand here for my flashlights. So, so it's, uh, this one is a um, Manfrotto light stand. And I normally use this when I'm doing portraits so or like any creative, like um, any creative action shots and stuff using flash. And, then, and on this job, you pretty much got one light, one yeah. head, keeping it small, keeping it light, quick Keep, to move around. Exactly, exactly that. Like, yeah, you just, make, you just have to make sure that, like, you know, you pack lightly so you can just move around and be agile yeah. and stuff, you know? And then, I mean, I'm going to start off here. And I've, since we're doing the outside, I'll just start off in the front top pocket here. I've got my ICU, or well, my EDS. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't break anything. So I've got my everyday carry pouch, and then in this I've got like a flashlight. Uh, I've got... Um, Let me have a look. Uh, the little EDC, you got a Leatherman, a flashlight, yeah. a little brush, very important to keep your camera clean. Yeah. A backup, a a backup, backup USB, uh, USB, and lots of medicine. Yes. And plasters. I think and as a venture photographer, stuff, yeah. that's really important. Nice little everyday carry bag, yeah. Cool, that's rad. All right, cool. And then I've got a bit of snacks and stuff, you know, since we're always on the road and stuff, we've got a couple of snacks. Always got a Red Bull in yep. there. Have to have so, a can of know, vest. Can of that. So, you know, keep up the energy and stuff. And moving along to the main, main section. The main show. Main show. So have a look. the main show. Oh, I'm excited to see what you got in here. Because I saw you carrying this bag earlier and it looked heavy. Yeah. We always have, I mean, oh, I wow. up quite a bit of stuff in here. So... Uh, start off with my main camera. So before I go there, like I always have my, my, my oh, camera and lenses. Oh, my. Brew, you have to walk through the camera. These guys, <laughs> eh? <laughs> These guys. Yes. Let's go straight into the main compartment. The main compartment. We had a very really long day yesterday. Yeah. And so um, the main show. Before we start off with the main show, like just a quick one, I normally have my cameras and lenses like connected to, like, together, making sure that like ready to shoot, ready to shoot both. Like so I've got uh, my Z62, my Nikon Z62 with um, the small rig uh, cage, starting to do quite a bit like video stuff, okay. like personal projects and that kind of stuff. I think it's cool to, to, to learn. diversify and get into some videos as a photographer. Yeah, definitely. So trying to learn and obviously like Instagram pushes us to do Instagram yeah. reels and in stuff. Vertical. And vertical. <laughs> so I've got Z62 um, with a 2470Z, uh, the 2.8 version of it. Love this. This is my main camera. Um, normally I have the 2470 on here because um, some very versatile lens. No memory cards? You're not that prepared today? Uh, no, not, not, not really. <laughs> Actually, I lie. you got an SD in there, so it's your backup card. Backup cards, uh, battery, everything fully charged, ready to go. I mean, it's connected all together. I mean, I just take it out of the bag, ready to shoot. So similar to that, I've got a Z5, Nikon Z5 here with a, 20, with a 7200. So this is also ready to shoot. Um, for all of my like, like long shots and stuff, reaching in, the compression in this is amazing as yeah. well. You know, so Good for low lights, low lights. Low lights, amazing. And also just like shooting from the back, like shooting into like, like a show like this, like that's your style. Want to show a bit of the crowd, like and have like that depth between like the stage. Yeah, like, shoot like, that through crowd. the hands, shoot through people, exactly. shoot through the railings. Exactly. So that, this is also ready to go. Uh, this is a Z5, Nikon Z5 with a 7200 in it. Um, cool. Packed nice and tight. 
Yep, yeah. and then we've got, I've got uh, 14, 24 for overview shots and wide shots. And obviously you need to use that for the FTZ adapter yes. to work with the mirrorless Definitely. bodies. Yeah? So FTZ uh, adapter, 14, 24, 2.8. This is really cool for like wide shots, overviews and that kind of stuff. You're just showing the general space and, you know, kind of placing yeah. everything. Yeah, cool. And then with this, and then I've got... A new little baby. Oh, new little baby. Pro Photo A2. Look yes. at that. This is a really cool, versatile little light. And what I like about this, you can control it from your phone. I love that. I love That's that the most cool. about this. Like, I mean, obviously having the app running it through the app. Yeah. I can I can control the the settings and stuff. And with the new um, Pro Connect uh, trigger as well, you can see exactly what yeah, the yeah. settings are and that kind of stuff. Like. And also, the cool thing is that I can use my strobes with my phone. Yeah. Which is amazing so as well. You can shoot some you mobile know? content so with a flash. It. Yeah, exactly. So I can, and I can also, you know, mess around and use it a bit of like... Uh, yeah, it is, that a, is amazing. As a natural light as well. So, yeah. yeah video. It all packs in here so neatly. Yeah. And then I'm just going to start digging because I'm yeah, excited. No, definitely. Yeah, you have so a I've camera got, strap. This is a rapid strap. Yes, this is the black rapid. Yeah. Uh, this is a double, 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 double sling. Uh, like That's the one thing I don't use. Yeah. And you've noticed. Yeah, I know you style. don't use that. Yeah. I don't use straps. I go out with one camera, make it yeah. go, make so, it work, swap yeah. it out. But that's the thing. Like for me, it's so much easier for me to like drop a camera and, you know, pick up like a, because obviously I've got the 2470 and my, and my uh, 7200 yes. like connected to the cameras. I can then like, you know, shoot long, switch over, just drop a camera, pick up the other one yeah. and shoot like 2470 and stuff, you know? Exactly. So it just makes it quicker for me to just move around and without changing lenses and stuff as well. You know? I get excited when I see little black boxes in the back. <laughs> but What's that was like a massive oh, one. Yeah, so this is your cleaning, cleaning kit. kit. Yeah, for yeah. any photographer out there, you should always travel with your own mobile cleaning kit. I've been on so many trips where you don't take this, you need it. Yeah. So there's always one packed in my bag now. I mean, obviously, because we shoot a lot of like sports and stuff, that air blower is the one that we need the most. Clean that sensor. <laughs> clean that sensor. Definitely clean that sensor. You don't want any spots on your sensor. This is a bit that big though. Is... I need to show you how to minimize this half the size so you've got space for more snacks in the bag. That's it. <laughs> and then what was That's next it. to that? So next to that, I've got um, uh, Atomus Ninja 5. And this is now something that I'm going to be using quite a lot with my video setup oh, cool. and stuff. You know? So you're going fully into so... more video? Yeah, kind of like dabbling a bit, but I love the fact that like, I mean, I can also shoot like... Um, yeah, you need to be versatile. Log on here. Yeah. So I can shoot log and I can, you know, preview everything that I'm doing. And it's like a nice big screen to like yeah. work with. You know that is I mean? awesome. So I love that. And then I've got a little pouch here. So this, in this pouch, I've got... So I've got my batteries in here. So this is batteries. Spare batteries. How many spare batteries? batteries? Four I've batteries for four today. Four batteries for today. And I've got my... Trusted little trigger. Oh, look Pro at that. Photo. That is so cool. That is nice and small and compact. Very nice and small, compact. Check it out on the top of the camera. And you've got some road mics in there. Is that got the Rode Go 2? Yeah. Yes, Rode okay. Go 2. This is like trusted mics and stuff as well. And that's um, that's pretty much it. CK. Yeah, I mean, that's very, very neat. So tell me, what's one lesson you've learned in the last 10 years of shooting for Red Bull or just shooting in general, like about bags? So always remember like you kind of have to create a system for yourself like so you remember exactly what your bag looks like and i mean we shoot in like so many situations where like you're working in low light and that kind of stuff you need to know when you dig when you put your hand in the in your bag you must know exactly where it is. Where, what, what you're picking up you know what i mean so system is the same all the time even when i break down the bag and i have a small icu try and keep it like similar you know what i mean so that i know exactly what i'm picking up when i'm when i'm shooting yeah you know, i've got like always a, be ready yeah i've got like a two just a two zip system policy so if my bag's closed i need to open one zip and yeah. one more to get to something i don't want to exactly. i don't want to struggle where where things are i can see you still got so much more space here you haven't even utilized and i'm sure you do utilize all this space for other projects obviously yes, this is quite a specific project yeah. we're shooting now but that's the thing, you don't want to carry around like stuff that's yeah, unnecessary. For, exactly. Like, you know, so Less like, is more, I keep guess, it simple. Yeah, it's also the planning, man. Like, you know, when, you, when you're planning and you know exactly what, you, what you're going after, you, you want to keep yourself light as well. So yeah. you don't want to be lugging around every single thing. No. You know, and, and, and I think that brings me back, like that brings me to a point where, you know, even when you're thinking about like buying gear, think about what, what you're shooting and think about like what you what you need you know it's like it, it's easy to fall into the trap of like buying yeah. every single thing 
and you end up not even using some of this stuff you know what i mean so it's like plan for that think about it you know think about what you want to do and yeah buy accordingly yeah buy what you need and if you don't need it you can rent exactly yeah, yeah. how long have you been using f-stop bags for so i've been using f-stop bags for the past five years now uh, first time um, I saw it was actually you. Like you were like uh, you put me onto these bags. I mean, I was using other bags before, but I saw how you were packing your bags and like how modular it was and like how easy it is to yeah. like to swap around and stuff. Like I mean, I've, I've got four of these now. So yeah, I'm, it's like, a collection. Quite addicted, yeah, like, it is quite an addiction. Like, you need you know every know color, <laughs> everything. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you know, I've got I've got four of these. The bag for every really job. Cool. Exactly. You know, I've got a Red Bull one that's like so amazing as well. I'll like, save it for special occasions. Photography. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Red Bull Photography. But like, yeah, I mean, I've got a, I've got a friend of mine who was, was also my assistant who normally says that, like, you know, when you see an F-top bag and you're assisting, you're about to work your ass. You're going to work very hard because <laughs> that bag's going to be loaded. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But yeah, but like, uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm really, really grateful for you, like, introducing me into these bags. Only a pleasure, my man. You know, um, yeah, looking forward to like doing so much more with these. Like, you know, it's like very like weather sealed machine here. Yeah, like, you know, like well made, sure the last protecting. long. Yeah, exactly. Making sure Do that the I'm job. protecting my gear. And it doesn't and look like a camera bag. And I think exactly. that's the important thing for us being in the street all the time. You're not walking around with a big target on your back. It's exactly. a, it's like an everyday bag. Exactly. So a lot of people think that I'm hiking when I have this. Yeah, we well, are. <laughs> Mumpumi, thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you for um, showing us what's in your bag. So anyone interested, I'll leave all the links in the description below to connect you to Mumpumi and his Instagram and his website. And yeah, um, keep a lookout for the next episode. I think the next bag check I'll be doing will be Tyron Bradley. He's also a Red Bull photographer based out of Cape Town. Cool. Cheers and thanks. Awesome. Nice one, guys. Cheers.